Can you see me now? The Streamlabs app died. Uh, it just closed, you know, all at once, crashed to the phone's desktop. It was a hard F, huh? The Streamlabs app crashes a lot, and I don't really know why. Say Greek is fat for science. Yeah, when you say Greek is fat, the fucking stream crashes. It's weird. Did you say hi to the shop girl today? Uh, we went by, but she wasn't working today. So it's too bad. We didn't. Oh, it's effing? F, huh? I mean, this could be the end of the stream. Maybe, maybe it's, it's not meant to be. It's working? It's fine? Okay. False alert? Okay. My phone charging still? Yes, my phone's at 23% now, nice. Trim my neck. Oh yeah, I should. You're right. Yes, the game will be free to play, yeah. Can I do an official Q&A stream with Talbotar? Oh, that's a good idea. You guys will enjoy that. He's really good at that kind of stuff. I should do that. Anyway, maybe in a, so everyone's been on the Christmas break and then we're gonna work really hard for a bit. And uh, then we'll do the Q and A after this first like sprint. But yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you guys get scared when someone says anyway because of forcing. Anyways, gonna go make some food. It's actually like a fucking PTSD word for you guys. When the stream turns off, it's such a sad time. Like everyone's just hanging out, relaxing, and then it disappears, huh? It's programmed in your head like that. Oh my God. You love my streams. Thanks. Ooh, the wind. It's been a nice time by the tree. Thanks, Mr. Alex101. Am I not as close to Soda anymore? I want to be. I think I like being his friend, but he doesn't uh, make too much effort to hang out with me, but you know, it's because he's addicted to classic, right? I think if he ever gets sick of classic, we'd hang out more. Yeah, he really loves classic, wow. Yeah, he's not even been streaming. I'm just playing. Yeah, I want to try the FF7 remake when it comes out. Uh, these are Focal Stelia headphones. I also have Focal Clear. I really like the brand Focal. Oh, he's live on Skippy? Imagine playing classic on such a nice day. Yeah, to me it seems so boring to be playing classic right now instead of just hanging out. But I guess my old, when I was 16, I would have, and my mom was like, why don't you go outside? I would have just wanted to stay inside. So. Games were better back then though. It was more hype.
It was actually exciting to climb the ratings, the, just climb the ladder, I remember. Just wanted to get bigger, bigger number. That's it. A little bit, a Rio and Alisa. Talk to them a little bit. Yeah, the shoulders at 2200, yeah. It was cool when like there was a new season would come out and you would get the shoulders on like the first day. Yeah, the first day, I think. Then you were like really alpha and you just walk around Orgrimmar. Or maybe you had to wait one week to get the points for the points to tick in. Maybe it was one weekend, you get it. Kind of can't remember now. Yeah, one week, I think. What is so good about WoW? Hmm. It's not WoW itself. It's just any world where all your friends are hanging out in and you're all together. And WoW was just the most popular one. Just MMO is a cool thing. Whatever MMO you played, if you played it with a lot of your friends, then that, that was the experience. I think. Because I don't even think... I played WoW for so long, but I don't like any aspect of WoW except the PvP. The rest of WoW is all so boring to me, it's like mind-numbingly boring. I can't handle it. I never could level my own character because it was so boring. I would have to pay someone to level. Like, <laughs> I just can't do it. I just wanted a PvP. Uh, to each their own. Some people enjoy the leveling. I know Jenna liked it. Jenna loved the leveling. She would just level and then quit every expansion. Just what she wanted to do is level. Level with friends, even leveling with friends is really boring for me. It just, it's not stimulating in any way. It's just, it's just like busy work. I don't like it. But the PVP is stimulating. You're like thinking on your feet. What do you want to do in this next second? This next five seconds? You want to time everything exactly right? It's nice. Scenery is beautiful, yeah. What class did I play? I was Rogue. Uh, but I, I played other classes as well. I was known for being a good Rogue. But I could play every class at a decent level. I could play almost every class. Uh, I played every class to Gladiator at some point. I could play most classes to rank one. Rank one, not the real rank one, but the rank one that they changed it later, point one, top point one percent. I got a warrior to rank one. I got a DK rank one title. But that was... I was, I, I, I tro trolled Soda, I responded to his tweet. Uh, he was making fun of rogues. And, he, and then I responded, yeah, but remember when I made a feral druid and beat you 3-0, 1v1? <laughs> Which actually happened on stream. <laughs> like the, the same week I'd got my feral to max level. <laughs> so. He's actually really good too. But uh. I think I got lucky in those duels, but let's never mention that. He was probably choking so hard because he was like, no way I could lose to someone who's just played a Meta Feral this week. So he probably played worse than normal, you know? Woo stakes, yeah.
think I got to rank one by being carried when I was on the road. Um, I think I was good enough at Warrior. The DK, yeah, I got carried. Warrior, I was actually good though, right? You remember watching my Warrior streams? Fun times, yeah. Shadow Priest, I didn't get rank one. Yeah, I just got Gladiator. My pressure on Warrior was insane. It was really fun. It's just fun to never let people fucking cast a spell for like a, a 40 seconds straight. I always was disrupting shout spec, so I'd pummel and then I'd disrupting shout, then you'd back up and charge, and then you shockwave, you could storm bolt, then you pummels back up, then disrupting shout would be up again soon. It was fun. Why was I banned for account sharing? I played a viewer's account. It was a red pally. I just asked in my chat, can I play someone's pally? And someone said I could play their pally, and then I played it. I got banned for that. I've been on Twitch for nine years, and I think those warrior streams and mob were some of my favorite content. Oh, wow. Nine, you've been watching Twitch that long? My pop socket fell off again. I'm sticking it back on. It's uh, focal, focal Stelia headphones. Go back to the store. Carson's there now. Should we go see if Carson's there? We could start walking. But if she just got there, then that means she just started her shift and then she can't leave work to hang out. I guess we could only, you know, Will I play more TFT on stream? It's weird with me. I'm really bad at just casually playing a game here and there. I got, oh, if I play, I want to always hard commit and just go all the way. I played and then I, the ranked came out. I went totally hit challenger and then I quit, right? You guys are like that too? I want to be able to be casual, but then it always happens where, especially when I was with Becca, she would always like bring up the ranks in the, in the games, you know? And then I'd be like, oh, she's not gonna like, she listen or trust my opinion in TFT at all, unless I actually climb the rank. So I feel like I have to get the rank so she cares what I have to say about the game. I don't even know if it's true. Maybe she would have listened to me anyways, but. Someone said, wow, that's pathetic. Is it pathetic? I'm, I'm talking about when we were dating. We were actually dating, but I don't think she would care about what I have to say in the game unless I was high rank. He's just a 12 year old. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because how could she know that I'm actually good at the game and that my things I'm saying are important for her to listen to unless I was high enough rank for it to matter right elitist couple uh, maybe in a game didn't I propose to her it's funny when you say, I guess I fucking did, yeah. I was on, um, I was like in a manic episode. It was really intense. I feel like I should show the doctor that. Should I show the doctor that clip? I proposed to Becca on stream. <laughs> Ad was there. Jackie, I didn't see what you said. It scrolled off. Want to say it again? Sh 
show us the clip. Uh, someone can link it in the chat. I, I can't show. Do you remember from your memory or from watching the clip? Oh, I think I remember from my memory. I didn't watch it. No, I didn't watch the clip because I get really cringe about watching myself. So from my memory, I was in an Airbnb. She's on a couch. Raynad's like sitting in the corner. And I wanted to, I invited her over because I said I really needed her to come over. And then I proposed to her and said we should move to Amsterdam. The reason I was saying Amsterdam is because mushrooms are legal there and I need them to be happy. The thing is, um, taking mushrooms, if, if I take a big dose of mushrooms, it can trigger a manic episode, which is what one of my psychiatrists told me. He said I have to be careful because uh, I sh with the dosage, because if I take a really big dose, it could trigger a manic episode. That's what happened. But it, it really is good for depression. Just like, a, the, the, that's not the right dose. That was like four times the dose. Do you think I'm addicted? So I'm on mushrooms today. It doesn't seem weird, right? Did you guys know? I'm just, I found a dose that makes me happy. Oh, you all knew? I just, I found a dose that is really a good antidepressant dose. And it's about one fourth the dose I took when I proposed to Becca on that stream. You couldn't tell? It's, it's just, it's got, soon it'll be legal. It got FDA approved as a breakthrough therapy for depression. The doctor was talking about it. And I found, I found a dosage that really works for me. And it's so amazing. It just, like, I, I wake up, I wake up and I, it's hard for me to do things. I want to talk, I want to talk to him about it. When I take it, I can all of a sudden, like, I'll do laundry, I'll clean my room, I'll, like, all these things that I just, this is after I do mushrooms. Isn't it weird? I do mushrooms and it'll make me clean my room, do laundry, organize things. Like, that's, that's what it, it's weird. You think it's just placebo effect? No, it's, it's well documented now. Just type in Google magic mushrooms depression. There's so much shit about it. The, the fucking Harvard Andy knew all about it, dude. I'll talk to Harvard Andy about it more though, but he, he hasn't actually taken it. He doesn't really understand what it's like. He's just read about it, you know? Uh, I think one gram, yeah, is good for, for me. When people get high, so they'll take like an eighth, which is like 3.5 grams. When people get really high, I think one gram is good for depression. Summit one gram. How often do I do it? Uh, this still sound crazy to you guys, but I do it every day. <laughs> I do it every single day. Except that day I played Jump King, I didn't do it that day. I don't think I can play games that well if I'm on it, but then it, I get... Um, I probably have some tolerance, yeah. I mean, I don't seem like I'm a crazy high motherfucker to you guys, right? It's just like, it's a pretty light effect for me. But it makes me, it's what I, it makes me like to be alive. It makes me care about life. It makes me look around at trees and be like, and, and breathe and just everything feels good. Am I worried about long-term effects? No, not really. Because before I started taking it, I wanted to die. So... I'm definitely not worried about that. But I'll talk to the doctor about it more. He doesn't really know that much about it. He just read about it, that it got FDA approved for, to 
depression. It's way better than any antidepressant I took before. Am I going to play TBC? Um, I might play TBC if it comes out. I... There are a few things I don't like about TBC, and that's May Stun and Silence Resists and, and Stun Resists. Those things just make the game unfun, but I might play anyway. You want a cutie pie girlfriend, how do you acquire one? I don't know yet. The weird thing to me is, even when I'm really confident, like right now, I feel pretty cool. I feel pretty cool right now. I'm like a, I like to go outside and streaming is a pretty cool thing. And I'm like, I look decent. I'm decent looking. It's still really hard to get a girl. I think I'm too much for a lot of people for some reason. Can't handle the bipolar, yeah, maybe. But it, it feels better balanced now. I'm not bipolar. I got diagnosed when I was 16, bipolar type two. So what? I don't know. Doctors can be wrong. They can. You guys don't think I'm bipolar? So what am I? The depress okay, so I, I, I feel like I have no desires most of the time. If I don't take anything, I, I have very little desire. I don't want to, I don't care to advance my career. It just feels like pointless toil. Like, it feels like, I don't know why, why is anyone else bothering to walk around and do anything? It's like my thought process. I don't get it. Like, why are you going to work and coming back? And why are you going? I, that's just like the thought. Why does anyone want to do anything? I just can't understand it. And then when I take mushrooms, I can understand it. I'm like, oh, it's fun. <laughs> like, I, I get it now. You know, <laughs> just, these things are fun sitting out here. But sober, I can't feel it. It doesn't feel any, I don't feel anything. I'm not sure. What am I talking to him again? Uh, I think in two weeks. He, he messaged me on Discord. He's like, oh, I can't wait to reconnect. And I actually have a lot of things I want to talk about. I'm excited. It, I look forward to it. It's really fun to talk to him. I don't need desire. You don't know what it's like to, uh, you know, Destiny actually felt it for a while. He had a few days where he had no desire. And now I love that he felt it because now he can relate to me. Now, now when I tell, tell him about it, he really gets it. Like, he has such strong desires all the time. He always wants to, he wants to stream, he can't wait. He wants to fuck girls, he can't wait. Like, he wants to do all these things. He just can't, he can't wait to just have a conversation with someone. He's so excited. He can't wait to do anything. He's like, he loves being alive, you know? He can't wait to just like drive his car, like a car. He loves driving. He loves everything. He, he, he fucking really enjoys being alive. For me, it's, it's uh, very few things I like. And I don't enjoy them, any of them as much as he enjoys. You know? 
You guys think it's bullshit he doesn't enjoy that much stuff? No, he does. Or you think I'm bullshitting? I didn't know what you meant by bullshit. No, he really does enjoy his stuff way more. What are the things I genuinely enjoy? I enjoy these kind of moments, streaming and just talking about things that matter, not just small talk. I enjoy, I enjoy like feeling close to someone. Like if I was just sitting here with a girl, just holding her hand, just looking over, there's something about, I enjoy it so much. I enjoy, um, I enjoy when I'm, we're working on the game, when we're working on Everland, and I see progress, there's, it's like a pretty fucking strong feeling when I get to actually see it in the game. It feels good. I like it. Sometimes I could really enjoy music. I can just get immersed in a song. I see you said you're describing spiritual awakening. Shit, you are me. Really? I guess a lot of people watching me are probably pretty similar. That's why you end up watching him. Yeah? Hey, our stream crashed. Our stream crashed and it was around this viewer count. Six, I remember seeing the 69. And then it went down to like 4,000 and it's all the way back up already in 20 minutes. You guys like me. It's only 27 minutes I've been streaming. That's pretty crazy. Thanks for the hearts. I love streaming like this. Too mushy, I'm out. All right, see ya. You look pretty good for a Jew. That was a, a real message in the chat. Okay. Uh, pretty good for a Jew, huh? It's once a week, having a scheduled stream is a good thing. Because I would have just been alone. Like, I, I didn't have, when I woke up today, I was thinking, like, I actually don't have the energy to stream right now. I can't do it. I thought. And I was like, well, I told everyone I would do it, though. So then I did it. And once it was on, then I was enjoying it and I'm talking and I'm having fun. But I was worried, like, I was thinking, I, I was having a lot of negative thoughts, like, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be entertaining. Uh, what am I even gonna do? I don't have any plans, you know, things like that. Then I just found a spot and sat down. I mean, didn't do too much, but it's fine. One stream a week, by the way. Well, yeah, it's better than zero. I'm, I'm not trying to be a streamer, I'm trying to be a game developer, so. Most game developers stream zero times a week. Hmm. Yet I still care about views, yeah. Yeah, it's a self-esteem thing. It's not like, because uh, I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say, like, yeah, I care about it for self-esteem. Like, when I get higher, more people watching, I, I feel better about myself. It's stupid, but it's how I am.
It's human, yeah. It's human. Hey, Greek. Yeah, if I play Jump King, there are more people, but I sacrificed some people watching for me to have fun. You know, there's... I did a compromise. Still stream, but do this instead. I would have fun playing Jump King if it wasn't so nice outside. If there wasn't any FOMO. If it was a shitty day out. It's really odd reading people trying to make you feel bad. Yeah. There used to be a lot more of those people, though. Nowadays, it's pretty tame. Sometimes in the past, there'd be like... A hundred people, maybe, in the chat at the same time trying to make me feel shitty. And they'd keep making new accounts, too. How's the water temperature? I didn't actually touch it. I imagine it's not too cold. Majority of chat loves me, thanks. Jump in. Oh man, the sun's starting to set, huh? It's so pretty right there. Tell Greg to stream. Hey Greg, stream. Greek's been messaging me every day for me to stream. He's like the people who spam. He's like, hey Byron, Byron, stream, Byron. Hey Byron, Byron. Hey stream, he told, he told me yesterday, he told me the day before. He's just bored and wants to watch. He messaged me like five times asking me to stream in the same day. <laughs> hey dude, can I say hi? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I saw you earlier, I walked by. Yeah. Man, you my dog. Oh, well, let me flip the camera on you. Here. Hello. My dog, Obrin. Obrin. Obrin, like Prince Obrin Martel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he fights uh, the mountain. He does. And he wins? In my version. Okay, he wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. He basically won. But yeah. He got a little cocky. A little bit. Oh, What's up, Obrin? <laughs> you actually go by Obi, because I realized that three syllables was like uh, too long for True. Dog, you know? Hey, Obi. Oh, uh, he likes something over there. Yeah. So what's your name? Obi. I'm John. <coughs> John. Yeah. Nice you to meet you. I I'm Byron, yeah. Byron. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, he's taking a piss. There you go. Kind of loose. <laughs> you look pretty fit. So do you run around here pretty often? Uh, no. I do kickboxing. Kickboxing? Yeah. That's all you do? Yeah. And you're, you're this fit? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I go and walk with this guy often. Okay. Yeah. Pilates from time to time. I just joined a gym. Okay. What uh, <laughs> What else do you like to do? Tell, tell us more. I want to learn. Uh, games. Path of Exile. Path of Exile. Okay. Uh, Path of Exile these days. Yeah. Too much. That's a cool game. That's a good one. Do you still game these days? Not so much. I was playing Jump King. Oh. You know what that is? <laughs> oh. I've heard of it. I think I've seen it. You like just jump. Much. Up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I do uh, like a Heroes of Storm as well. It's a pretty good one. I'm one of those losers. Oh. Yeah, see, now you can judge. See, I'm, I'm judging you back. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty dope, though. I gotta recommend it. I mean, compared to like League of Legends and shit like that, where like you go for like, well, like an hour <coughs> and you're just with like four randos and it just takes forever to like clear yourself. But then, I guess it's faster it's like paced, right? Minutes. Yeah, you're in and out. And do you feel like you have more agency, like you by yourself can change the game more in Heroes? Well, uh, probably less, I would say. Oh, same. less. Don't you think? Because they have like hyper carries and shit, right? Like in League of Legends. Oh, okay. So, I like. I actually like the hyper carry guys. thing. Yeah, but like I would say that like, those guys would carry, right? Whereas, yeah, like, yeah. Like you're tethered more of a team game, okay. Yeah. I like it because of speed, like you're saying that now. The speed, yeah. The speed would be... I think they're making a... Wait, they're making a League Mobile, right? That's faster? I think they are. I like to watch Dota too, like the tournament, the international. Tournament. I like your shirt. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. He's dirty as fuck too. What do you? What do you? Uh, <laughs> what's your career? What do you do? I actually don't work these days. Nice. Yeah, I just uh, live over there on Rainy. I play drums. I play video games. 
I just live in life. Yes, apparently, yeah, yeah. Do you know a couch surfing? Do you know a couch surfing tool? Uh, no. No, oh, not at all. The, the app? Yeah, I get kind of triggered by it because, like, it's a website. It's been a website for like 10 years, but, like, these days kids say it's an app. It's like where you, like, open your home to strangers, uh huh. Uh, travel around. It's kind of like free Airbnb. The idea being, like, when you stay here, I can host you, and then when I go somewhere, they can host me. Okay. Like, pay it forward. Free Airbnb. Yeah. Um, and uh, I host a lot of people to that. Like, I actually like host a lot. I've been like, for many, many years. So you're just a really nice guy. I guess you can say that, yeah. And then, do you, when you travel, people host you? Uh, actually, I really don't like surfing. I, when I travel, I do Airbnb. I like my privacy. Oh, so okay. I always do my shit my, myself, but I host a lot of people. Oh, interesting. Um, but, yeah, actually, I wanted to invite you because I have three Polish girls coming in, like, half an hour. I don't know, like, how much you need content and whatnot, but they said they wanted to go out and, like, have drinks and stuff, so... I'll go. Out. I don't drink alcohol, but I'll go. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Where are you going? Probably Rainy Street. Cause, like, I live... Uh, do you know Container Bar? Um, Container uh, Bar. Uh, I, I don't drink, but I, I, I'll go. I mean, I, I don't know where... I know where Rainy Street is. Yeah. I've gone... I've even streamed there. Ch yeah, uh, soda, um... Just for chat to know, soda, it's where we stream a soda chat. We went on the party bus, we got there, we walked around. You guys probably... You... Party bus? It's kind of cool. Yeah, we had, there was a viewer who had a party bus because he drove, his job was driving a party bus for someone and he drove us for free. Huh. It's pretty cool. That's his job? Yeah. Was he like a so your name's John? Yeah, yeah. John, okay. Good. John. 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 Yeah, nice it's hard to remember John. The name. I always think like, it's either gonna be really easy or really difficult because like it's the most common name. Do you remember my name? Byron. Yeah. That I just told you earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I knew he was Rectal, I didn't know he was Byron. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I guess like you're a real human, I suppose. I'm a human. Not just some person online. Do I not seem like a person online? You do actually. You seem rather personable, I guess I could say. Person-ish. So, we'll say person-ish. Person-ish. Yeah, yeah. But now here. Okay, but on, on on my stream, I'm just myself the whole time. Yeah. Hence the ish. Wait, explain. I don't get it. I'm just fucking with you. Okay. <laughs> so wait, how did you get these three Polish girls coming? Uh, like, well, like I said, I host a lot of people. Um, oh. Night, they were in Houston, they wanted to see a rodeo, and they said they're gonna arrive like midnight or one a.m. And I was like, nah, like that's I, because I was out drinking, doing shit. I see. Uh, so they delayed till today, so they're coming today. Um, I told them about Austin Nightlife and how good it was, and they wanted to see it, but the rodeo took precedence. So okay. They're coming in now. Uh, I see. They're fine with streaming, though? I assume so. I can run and buy them. Like, I'll, I'll see if they care, but... Okay. I assume it'll be a cool experience. I mean, most people like how streaming open to pretty much everything. So, like, it'd probably be a cool thing. Okay, cool. Should I change? We're, it's gonna be, like, if it's rainy, man, it's, like, Sunday fun day. Like, so, Sunday people dress like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and thing. I'll probably... Maybe change. I don't know. That's what I'm doing when I get home. Okay. But it's super low key. So, how do I... Get your contact information. Wait, how do we do this? Yeah, how do we do this? I don't know. I've never done this. Wait, before. so I'm streaming. Yeah. Hmm, I'm thinking. I can. Wait, I can I I could tab out and write your number down on the phone. Yeah, or you could just put your number in my phone. Number. I could do that, but if you call me, it'll end the stream. What about like receiving texts? The text works. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll put my number in your phone. Ask his email. No, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I have to not leak myself. Oh, now he's hey, in. Obi. Obi, what's up? Okay. Create contact. All right, I did it. Cool. All right. Uh, that's Try not to leak it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, should I text you now? Yeah, text me now. Let's see if it works. Waiting. You don't use like WhatsApp or anything, do you? Nah. Sub, bruh. Waiting. And there it is. All right, cool. Okay. All right, I'll go run up by them and see what's going on, and then I'll message you in a little bit. Cool. Sound good? Yeah, nice All to meet right. you, John. Nice See ya, Obi. Bye, chat. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun, chat. I got invited to something. Okay. Cool. I'm going somewhere.
so I don't drink alcohol, but everyone else is gonna be drinking. That's the only thing. If I drink alcohol, I wake up the next day and I think about killing myself, usually. So I don't drink. Greek messaged me, he might kill you. Make sure to bring a bat or a crowbar, mate. <coughs> he seemed really nice, yeah. But wait, if he doesn't, um, he doesn't work anymore. I'm just curious what he did before or if like his parents had a lot of money or what. Are you guys curious too? It's probably a Jew like you. He's a harvester. <laughs> he, he's gonna harvest my organs. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Alright. <laughs> Nobody wants Jew organs. I saw that message in the chat. That's a real message someone wrote. I guess I'm safe, guys. Nobody wants Jew organs. It'll be fine. Let's start walking back to my place. So maybe I'll go up and like pee. Maybe I'll change. I, he said I don't have to change. I don't even know what I would wear. Get a drink or something. Not, not an alcoholic drink. I'm trying to get off the wall. Humpty Dumpty over here. All right. Fucking pretty this is. Look at this. This is insane. Greek, by the way, when you come live in Austin, you're gonna live. You're gonna be a 50, 40 to 50, 40 to an hour drive from here. From civilization. <laughs> that is where you're gonna be. Even though you could be here. But you can't live with me for free, Greek. You can't live with me for free. You gotta get your own place. You can sleep over sometimes. I think I need to start changing my ways, boys. Can't let everyone have things for free all the time. <laughs> Jew versus leech. <laughs> Am I broke? No, I'm not broke. But my parents wouldn't want uh, me to let people have all things for free all the time. So they were saying, telling me. They don't like how I do that. I've, uh, a lot of times in my past, I've like paid for people's rent and I got a girl a car and done some dumb things, right? The way I always thought about it is if there's some people who can't um, can't afford something and that is what's stopping them from hanging out with me, I'd rather they hang out. But then it just ends up being, being 
weird situations. Like if someone couldn't afford something and I'd have to pay their rent for them to live next to me, then I would think it's worth it because then I have a friend. But then it just, you know, it doesn't really end up being the best kind of friend. No shit. Yeah, but I, I, it took me a bit to learn that because they'd actually be my friend to start. Like, Greek's my friend, you know. But he's pretty cheap. He actually wouldn't live here. He wouldn't pay his own rent. He really would not. <laughs> Oh, it's that pool we saw the other day. Destiny might move to Austin. I think that'd be really cool. You should watch this stream and see what it's like being here. I'll enjoy having him around. Molina likes me a lot too. <laughs> Thorsten CD. Ride the scooter, I could. Probably a little dangerous while streaming and holding a phone, you know, because I only have one hand. There's some YouTuber who was riding one of these scooters with his mom and his mom crashed into a tree and died instantly. Head first. I read about it on Twitter. It was really scary, yeah. It's fake news? Wait, it wasn't a real story? No, I think it was real. You guys are just randomly saying fake news, right? Roman Atwood. Is that his name? I haven't seen you from stream for a while. Glad you look happy. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Oh, what is this guy doing? Wait, what the fuck? It's my turn to walk, though. you honking at, son? Wait, I've never even seen this. Pretty. I've never noticed this place. Hi. I've never seen that. Actually real, what the fuck? Oh yeah, you looked it up? The guy whose mom died on the scooter? Pretty scary. Be careful on those scooters out there. It tells you to wear a helmet when you get on. Just be really careful on there if you ride it without a helmet. Jackie, you fell off one? You ate shit, huh? Dude, Shroud fell off one and uh, it was at his all time high subs. He lost like 30,000 subscribers yeah, from falling off a scooter. Expensive scooter ride. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Plus, you have to be in the hospital. This is the bar where we met the MILF. Uh, right here. You guys remember? I was sitting right there. She was staying in this hotel. <laughs> she took me up to her room. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it's the douche bar. Everyone thinks they're hot shit at this bar. <laughs>
carried by glasses, true. Right, I'll flip the camera. Okay, so right now we're walking back to my place. And then, um, I guess I'm gonna go with this guy, John, and then three Polish girls out. We'll see what happens. Paulina? 